Planned Parenthood has, has been known to accept donations that are stipends for abortion of black babies because the individual donating doesn't want or says they don't want more black children. Did you did you deal with those things? Yeah, we did. Um, interesting note on the the racism part. You know, uh, I was I was talking to to an abortion supporter a few days ago, and I said, well, uh, and it, she's an African American woman, and I I said, well, what if I told you that women came into my clinic to abort a baby? because they were white women, but their babies were going to be biracial. And she said, oh, that's wrong. That's racial injustice. And I said, but that does happen. You're right. That is racial injustice, but it does happen. And, you know, when we start picking and choosing why it's acceptable to kill a human being and why it's not acceptable to kill an innocent human being, we are really dabbling in eugenics. And that's a, that's a very dangerous road for our society to go down. Well, it's also what Planned Parenthood was built on. Their founder, Margaret Sanger, was a eugenicist. So they are, in a sense, carrying on the legacy on which they were built. Um, I guess in regards to the bigger question, I mean, there are pro-abortion advocates who still claim that it's just a clump of cells, even though science has long stated that it's a unique DNA. Life begins from the moment of conception. What is the belief inside the doors of Planned Parenthood, not in the political sense? Do these workers at the clinics, including the people who perform the abortion procedure, do they understand that it is a human life and they're simply not concerned with it? Or do they truly, are they in scientific denial and don't believe that's life? You know, I think it's I think it's it's mixed. I think that there are a lot of people I worked with a, a nurse practitioner at the clinic who said to me one time, "Oh, I know abortion's killing. I I know that we're taking an innocent life. I'm okay with that." Um, I think that that is becoming more and more pronounced um, in in the pro-abortion movement that we know it's a life, and that's really where we know that we have sunk to a new level of depravity, right? Uh, it was one thing to say, to innocently say before we knew, right? Before we had ultrasound technology, before we had these, these medical advancements that, you know, I, I mean, it's just a clump of tissue. It's just cells. It's not, it's not a baby. It's nothing. Now we have the technology where we can say, we know it's an unborn human life. We know that it is a developing baby. We know that it is innocent. We know that it has its own DNA, its heart's beating, its brain waves are functioning. And yet we're still okay right. to snuff out that innocent life. We've really sunk to a new low 